Today we'll be tackling a Mac valve. Uh, what this does is allow you to use the ECU uh, to control the boost over the different duty cycles so that you can run target boost at different RPMs uh, to you know, maximize what you're getting out of the engine versus a boost controller where you're going to run a set amount of boost, but you're going to have to tune down to the, the lowest common denominator. Uh, so this is what comes in the box. It's just uh, the valve, and then they give you uh, two barbs. This is a three-port version and uh, a little filter. So you have one, two, and three. Filter goes on one, and then the barbs go on two and three. And then I have already removed the boost solenoid from my car. Uh, so this is the whole guy together with the EGR valve. Um, I got rid of that early on. But if you can see here, uh, these two connectors right here are what we need. Those go to the boost solenoid, um, the factory one. So what we're going to do is just splice. Um, actually, yeah, we'll just cut this guy right here. Um, we'll keep the rest of the harness because we harness because we want this plug. This plug is the one that will go to the factory location. Um, so this is currently how I have the car set up. There's my Holman. Um, and then you can see, uh, I think it's this connector right here. Let's get a better view. Sorry, it's dark outside today. Right there, that's the connector that we're gonna use um, that will tie us in so we can Use the Mac valve controlled by the ECU.